Hey, what's going on guys? If you haven't noticed, there is another workout video. This is right after my foam roll. So I went straight into an upper body day. Um, I apologize that there is no more music as I have been denied by YouTube to use copyrighted music in the background. So you get to hear my lovely voice narrate. Um, basically, this is overhead press day, one there, five through one. I'm on week two, workout number three for the week. So uh, this is after three warm-up sets, going into three working sets. Uh, this is a final set at 105, I believe, and as many reps as possible, three plus. Um, I believe I get eight, I want to say. Um, I made, if you notice the bench is at a slight angle, uh, there's not much I can do about that because that bench does not go straight. Um, so that's going to put a little bit more stress on the upper chest and the front lat, on the front delts, excuse me. Um, front delts being your front shoulders. It's not the end of the world, it's still an overhead press, but it's not like a normal military press. And as you could tell, I was completely exhausted after forcing out that eighth one. My shoulders have always been my weak point, so very, very difficult. Um, I believe right after this, I go into a incline bench. This is just one of the four working sets I did. I didn't feel like showing everything, and of course there's my girlfriend who's going to walk into the camera right past now as she was helping me do laundry. And at this point, ah, there we are. And the dog's prancing around. Anyways, um, basically this is incline bench. I was doing working sets of six to eight. And this is 165, I believe. Uh, right after this set, after I rack it, I dropped the weight and did a bunch of, uh, I think I did 18 reps of 105. And then I also did shrugs and chin-ups, but I decided not to show them on camera because I didn't want to make a video way too long. Um, so then I went into arms. This is tricep push-downs. I believe this was 90 pounds. I believe it was 90 pounds. Uh, and what I was doing was supersetting. So basically I was doing this about 12 to 15 reps and then instantly jumping over into a dumbbell curl. Uh, supersets use a little bit more energy, can burn a little bit more calories, and since I'm going to cut, I thought it would be a pretty good idea anyways. Um, I usually don't do curls, but I feel like, other than shoulders, my probably biggest lagging part is my arms, and that's probably because they're ridiculously long. So, uh, this is dumbbell curls. This will finish up the video. I didn't want to show too much lifting today. I'm going to start talking about some thermogenics and weight loss pills. And as always, I always talk from experience, so I started trying out a few to give you my take on them and my opinion on what I thought of them. Um, enjoy. What's going on, guys? Sorry if you haven't noticed already, because it's only been about 10 seconds after the workout video. You're probably watching this right after the workout lifts. Um, there's no more music in the background. I got yelled at by YouTube for using copyrighted music. <laughs> So, we are back to headphones, and you get to hear my lovely voice. So, real quick, today's topic, doing talking about thermogenics. Um, when I talk about anything, I like to try it first, and the guys at work know about this. So, I went out, spent $24, bought a bottle of Oxy SY Elite Pro, I think is the name of it. It's upstairs. Um, it's a thermogenic. For those who don't know what thermogenics is, that's basically all the diet pills you see on TV. Um, i trying to think. Um, hyd uh, hydrox, no, hi, 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 hip, hippo, hypo, something, something. There's a bunch of that like uh, Walgreens. I see the commercials all the time. I can think of the name offhand, but basically the idea is the pill has a bunch of stuff like green tea extract, you know, Wahiban, um, caffeine, all sorts of stuff. So the reason they call it thermogenic is it gets the body real warm, and um, that causes the muscles and the tissues and the organs to work faster. Especially the heart, that's why they warn you to be careful if you're uh, caffeine, uh, not very ca caffeine tolerant. Um, you're going to uh, shake a little bit and whatnot. So, I went out and bought them on Saturday, decided to try them for you. I will give you, tell you right now, I've never done a diet pill before. Um, I've known about them since back in the days when Metabolife was out, so uh, I do know about them and I know the aspects of them. Um, so, 
I'm going to try one for you. I'm going to tell you I'm two days in and it was the worst feeling in my entire life in the world this morning. Uh, I took two because that was they recommended on day three. So I took two um, in the morning on an empty stomach, took a protein shake on the way to work and I was nauseous. Literally thought I was going to puke in the parking lot when I got to work. Um, wanted to die for the first two hours I was at work. I could not stop sweating. My clothes were soaked. Thank God I was wearing deodorant. Uh, I felt like total crap. I highly, highly recommend you do not use any of these pills. Now, you're supposed to become obviously less, feeling less of the effects as the pill gets taken out further on. That's great and all, but if I felt like I did today again, I would never, ever recommend that upon to anybody. Um, so n now taking one of these, yesterday was fine when I took just one pill. Um, the two pills, wow. We're talking about 550 milligrams of caffeine plus all the other ex extracts that are in there. And then within the next week, they recommend me taking four pills a day. I'm telling you right now, you can say F that. That sounds terrible. If I have to feel anything like I did today, terrible, okay? So that's my first-hand experience with Thermogenics. Um, if you go on bodybuilding.com, which I'll put down below, um, there is a supplement section where a lot of people talk about different fat burners, talk about EC stacks, ECA stacks, which were very popular back in the day before ephedrine was banned, a banned substance to work with uh, caffeine. Um, but yeah, uh, I really don't need Thermogenics. Uh, I'll continue to take them because I paid for a month's supply, but I will not be taking more than one pill a day. Forget that. Um, also, you're not supposed to eat caffeine with them. Uh, obviously, the less you want, don't want too much caffeine in your body, but I will say that I am very tired at the end of the day for the last two days. Um, I'm, I'm sure it has something to do with me getting a ton of caffeine in the morning and nothing at night. So, I, I know I'm not very intolerant to caffeine, which surprises me that these pills would hit me that much, but maybe because I'm taking them at one time. I do usually drink two to three cups of coffee a day, so I mean, this is nothing new to me, but the caffeine has hit me ridiculously hard. Uh, that's it. If you want to hear more about um, supplements like that, I'll link bodybuilding.com below. They're a great site for uh, opinions and supplements. People post threads in there constantly. Um, probably do another Lakes video this week. Hope you enjoyed the phone rolling and everything else. Like, subscribe. That shows me your support. I really appreciate it. I'll keep making these videos as long as people are watching them.